for a series of mistakes I made several years ago. I have said throughout that I respect the legal process and thus I intend to address the court directly at sentencing. I will describe the choices I made, continue to take responsibility for my decisions, and express remorse to Judge Salas and the public. I am heartbroken that this is affecting my family, especially my four young daughters who mean more to me than anything in the world. Beyond this, I do not intend to speak specifically about the case outside of court at the recommendation of my attorney and out of deference to the government and our legal system. That is the statement of Teresa Giudice, uh, March 4th, 2014. The plea agreement and the, uh, the terms of uh, that plea agreement provide for the possibility of prison, but they equally provide for the possibility that she can petition the court for leniency. Uh, she will do that. We're going to ask the court for a probation sentence. The government is aware of our intention to do that, and we're hoping that the court will take into account the full life of Teresa Giudice, including her obligations to her family, uh, as well as the, uh, the case against her husband, which is going to affect her family, and uh, exercise the leniency and mercy that the court is authorized to exercise and um, impose a probation sentence. But that presentation will take place over the next few months. We're going to submit uh, letters to the court. We're going to submit other information to the court, and we're going to have a sentencing hearing at which time we'll address the court about all the good things that we hope will balance and indeed overcome uh, the mistakes uh, to which she admitted today. So Joe, in fact, uh, accepted responsibility. He acknowledged what he had done, and he did this to help his wife in the best possible way because, as Henry has told you, uh, uh, she uh, has received uh, a, a most favorable plea uh, agreement that she, in fact, uh, could get. So he uh, showed his love for his family. He acknowledged responsibility despite the potential consequences. For example, as you heard, he has been in this country since he was one year of age. He didn't even know that he was not a uh, citizen. He's here legally, of course. Everybody in his family, including Teresa and the children, are citizens. I think it would be a grave injustice for him to be deported. He's not a man of violence, never sh has shown any type of tendencies in that regard, but it would just be inhumane to the children and Teresa for him to be deported. And that, of course, wouldn't take place uh, until after he served whatever sentence is imposed by the judge. His guidelines that were stipulated between the government and the uh, uh, defense, that is myself on his behalf, uh, carry 37 months to 46 months. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, Joe uh, is a real great human being uh, for doing what he did. His whole concern throughout was his wife and his children. Uh, his most cherished asset, of course, his reputation has been tainted, uh, but he, he did uh, the right thing here today.